morning. Um, I'm actually inside today because we've got some, the neighbours are doing some work next door. So they've got all sorts of machinery going in their garden. So it's a little bit noisy outside today. So I'm inside, I'm in my office. As you can see, I've got my appropriate dog wallpaper behind me. Um, so it's a little bit grey out there today. It's not as, where's that nice sunny spring weather gone? Um, so I hope the light's all right in here. So normally I try and do my lives outside because the light is so much better going outside. So I said, I don't know, I'm still quite new to live, so I can't see if I've got anybody watching or comments yet. But if you are watching, I'd love to see some kind of likes and loves so that I know you're there. Feel free to ask any questions. I know quite a few of you have signed up to the mini pull course already. If you haven't signed up, it's really worth doing because there's five little videos in there. It's completely free. No obligation to buy anything. Um, the only thing you've got to, is obviously you're going to get to hopefully get some better walks out of it. So please sign up to it. Um, and when you're watching the videos, ask any questions. I'm, I'm there to help you. So please let me know how you're getting on. Um, and also it's good for me to know feedback because obviously when I teach something face to face, I can help people as they go. Whereas when watching a video, you can sometimes interpret a video differently. So please let me know if you have any questions or you need any extra help with your dog. And then hopefully some of you will then go on to sign up to our 21 day plan, which will help you get your really nice loose leave walking. And in that we teach two different types of leave walking. We talk leisure mode. This is where your dog can wander around. They don't have to be in any particular position near you, but the lead does have to be loose. Um, and this is great for dogs, I say I use this all the time, this is my main method of walking my dogs because it means they can potter around, they can sniff, they enjoy the walk as much as I do um, they're safe on the lead but it does just mean it gives them some freedom and of course I say I use that along with off lead, my dogs do have a run around as well um, and then you'll also learn in that 21 day plan how to teach training mode and this is where your dog walks right by your side looking up at you and it's great if you're walking along a busy road or kind of in a busy area with lots of things going on so this is kind of your typical heel work so you will learn how to do it although i don't use it that often um it's very unnatural for a dog to have to walk right by your side looking up at you they don't enjoy the walk as much i don't think because they haven't got the freedom to sniff and explore but it, in some certain sense some circumstances it's very useful so we do teach it anyway so i'd highly recommend having a look at that 21 day plan anyway i can see i've got a couple of people watching me now so good morning julie and rachel um and yes so let's get started with today's topic which today is all about leaving the house on a loose lead now this is something that people do not realize the importance of a loose lead starts before you even get up off the sofa to take your dog for a walk. So if you get up in an exciting manner, run around the house screaming walkies, and your dog ends up leaving the house so excited they can't wait to rush off down to the park, your dog is almost guaranteed to pull on the lead. So what you want to do is to aim to do the whole harnessing your dog up, getting them ready to go out the house in a calm as manner as possible. Now, I will quite often get my dogs ready for doing, ready for going for a walk while at the same time doing something else. So just because I'm putting their harnesses on, it doesn't mean we're automatically leaving the house in 10 seconds flat. It might be I put their harnesses on, then I go out and perhaps put the chickens to bed. Um, other things are happening so that it doesn't necessarily mean they're rushing off. And I say some of you will have received in the email that you'll get as part of the um, mini course you'll know the day that one day I was getting ready to go out in the morning um, my children were helping me get the dogs ready because they come to work with me um, they put the dogs harnesses on I got up to work and opened the van doors I've got van with I say dog crates in the back for the dogs to travel in um, and my Dalmatian wasn't there so I of course was very concerned um, where was he so I rushed home knowing that we'd had the front door open as the kids were getting ready to come out for school and coming backwards and forwards. Um, and he was there asleep in his bed, wearing his harness, ready to go for a walk, ready to come out the door for work with me. But no, he was asleep in his bed. 
that's something you're not going to get from many dogs many dogs as soon as they put their walking equipment on they're ready to go so that is something that i want you to get your dog used to it's just wearing their walking equipment around the house perhaps even get the lead out and do some kind of lead work around your house with them so it's not a big deal and they don't suddenly reach this really level of really high excitement as soon as they see their walking equipment which means they're unable to focus on you which is guaranteed and kind of almost associated with that pulling on the tight lead so that is one of your top tips is just being calm being calm before you even leave the house now when you are leaving the house one thing I will quite often do, and again, you'll see this in the 21 day plan, is just hang out on the doorstep. So we play a game called Nose Down, Head Up. Um, and one of the first exercises in the plan is to play that right on your doorstep. So the idea is it teaches your dogs that you're not rushing off down the road. You're just going to stay there calmly. Um, and I say, I've got a very small front garden and I will quite often just pot around there with my dogs. It is, I say, it is small and you will see it in the 21 day plan. But the idea is, is, again, it's just teaching them to be calm. If you haven't got a front garden, you could just potter around kind of just outside your house. But it's just, as I say, it's just reducing the fact that you're not rushing off down the road with them. It's being really strict with that lead and making sure that you only kind of go towards the park or wherever it is that you're going when the area is, when, when your dog is calm. So that is, as I say, it's so important to get that nice calm behaviour before you even start leaving the house. So hopefully that's given you a bit of insight into that and the importance of it. Um, I say I've got many, many videos of this in action. Um, and I say sometimes you'll see me even do it with daycare dogs. I used to own and run a daycare establishment. Um, and you'll see how long I actually stand just waiting on the doorstep for the dog to calm down. And how this makes such a massive difference versus the dog that walks out the door. And the first thing they want to do is go straight into that pole to, to kind of pull you down the road to the park or wherever you're going. Whereas waiting for them to calm down makes all the difference, combined in with that calmness when putting the equipment on and preparing them to go for a walk. So I say there is a video on this in the mini course. Please sign up for your mini course. I'll say it's completely free. I'll put the link in below this video. Um, a part of the mini course, I'll say you get a set of emails which will give you extra tips and information. Um, Every week I then also do, on top of this live, I then record the live and it's on YouTube for you to replay whenever you want to. Um, and also uh, on, combined with that is you get an email which I send out um, because of course when you're doing a live there's always stuff when I'm watching the video back and I go, oh I wish I said that. Um, which I say if I'm editing videos I add bits in as we go but obviously I can't do that on a live. So I say the, the weekly email also has those extra bits in as well. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, yes, so I'll say I can't see, I've got, I've got Jimmy watching, I've got Paul watching, so hello to you. Um, I've got, is that Lenny watching? As I say, um, I can't see any comments coming up, but it may be my screen, but I say I always go back and check through the, e check through the video after I've done it. Um, also feel free to ask any questions below the videos um, and again I'll keep an eye on the thread for a while um, oh Carly's watching um, yes so I so that's it for today hopefully that'll help you with your walks and I'll say sign up for that mini course because that's got lots of information in it bye for now have a good day